everybody welcome back to my channel today is the day that you're going to learn how to sew three two one sew today is the day that i'm finally going to show you how to sew it took me quite a while to get this video together one because i have so many kids two because it's summertime now and they're home and three, because sewing just seems so easy to me. I wasn't really sure how to explain it to you guys. Um, but I'm just gonna show you how I sew and then you guys are gonna do great from there. What you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. I like these because these are easy to hold. I cut fabric in my finger. I cut fabric and thread with these. But if you're cutting large pieces of fabric, you're gonna want something a little more like this. And I also like nippers. These are really great for cutting thread. One of my favorite tools. I will leave links to where you can find these in the description box of this video. You are also going to need thread. Um, any thread would do. Don't get anything satin. I would start with all purpose thread. That's pretty much what I like to use most of the time anyway. And you're gonna need a seam ripper. A lot of the sewing machines come with a seam ripper, but you can get these super cheap. Again, I'll leave links in the description box of the video. And you always see me use these um, roller cutters, roller blades. Um, I really like these with the cutting mats for cutting large and small pieces of fabric. It's really good for cutting straight and curved edges, but you don't have to have this. You can go with the scissors. And you're gonna need a measuring tape to take measurements. And then you're gonna need your sewing machine and you're ready to go. I selected this machine for our beginning tutorial because one, it's a very good quality of machine and it's easy, very easy to use and to get started on. And two, because it's also very affordable. And in fact, there's even a discount code in the description box of this video so that you can save an additional 15%. This machine comes with everything that you need to get started. So it comes just like this, already with the needle in. And then you also have the presser foot. There's a cover to go over the machine to keep dust off of your machine. And it comes with an instruction manual and an easy startup guide. One of the things that I like about the Singer machines is that Singer also has a YouTube channel where they provide tutorials on their machines. So after you watch this video, if you still need a little more help, I will leave the links in the description box so that you can click over to Singer's channel and learn more. The first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to plug in the foot. This is how we're gonna operate the machine. See that? And the on and off switch makes the sewing machine go. You push it light, and so you'll just tap your foot on it if you wanna go slow. And if you wanna go super fast. You really don't need to sew that fast. I do sew fast when I'm making ribbon trim tutus because you're just going in straight line, straight across, so super fast. But when I'm trying to go around curves, I kinda of sew like this. So this part goes on the floor. We're gonna put this on the floor and I'm gonna turn the machine around this way and put you guys behind me so you can see how to get started. So now we're just getting a look at the front of the machine. And here are the stitches that we have. This is a stitch that you're going to use most often. It's just a simple straight stitch. But as you can see, there's lots of stitches here. The other stitch that I use quite often is the zigzag stitch. But there's a little groove here because this kind of helps you lock in on that straight stitch. That's the one you're gonna use most often. And there's also some button stitches here so that you can make a buttonhole. We'll go over buttonholes in another tutorial because that's kind of complicated. Here is the stitch length, four to zero. And let's see. Down here we have the reverse button, and I will show you how we'll use that in just a second. Here is our bobbin compartment, our tension, and up here is where we're gonna wind our bobbin. So let's get started and wind our bobbin because you need a bobbin and you need the thread in the machine to get started. Right 
So you're gonna start by loading your thread, just like this. In this machine, this machine is labeled to show you exactly how to wind the bobbin and you can also find these instructions in the reference guide. Or, next you're going to take your thread and just follow the directions. We're going to go in here, one, here's two, I have my fan on in here, press it down, push it over, and now we're going to press our pedal foot. And the pedal foot is going to begin to wind the bobbin. So again, I can go slow, I can go fast. I like to go fast when winding bobbins because I just want to get it done. So now that it stopped wind, winding, winding <laughs> because it's full, I'm just gonna use my nippers and pinch off that little extra piece, slide it back over, pull it out, and cut it. Now my bobbin is wound. So let's thread the rest of the machine. So from here, we go up and then pull it down. Then we're gonna take it down, back up, around this little hook here, just like it says, down. And then now we gotta go under here. There's a couple little grooves under here. And once we get to this point, we're gonna tuck it under, and there you go. So on a new machine like this, with the drop-in bobbin, they're really easy to use. So bobbins used to be more challenging, but they've come a long way. So you just pop this lid off, and I'm doing this with one hand. Hold the camera with the other so you guys can see it close. And then you're gonna take this thread, and put it under there, switch hands. And then bring it up and around. And then there's a little blade right here. I'm just gonna cut off the extra. And then you're gonna put your lid. There you go. And you are now ready to sew. I also recommend that you start with a cotton fabric. Don't start with anything sequin or satin, shiny, anything with elastic in it or anything that stretches. Don't start with those things because they're a little bit more challenging to use and it, you have to learn your sewing machine so that you can adjust the settings for that type of fabric. So I recommend just starting with a lightweight cotton fabric. I typically keep my tension setting at about four and a half for lightweight cotton fabric and for most fabrics I usually keep it about four and a half. So when you start your stitch you want to go forward and then go back just a little bit and it's like double knotting that's the best way I can explain it is it keeps it it keeps your stitch from coming loose. And when you finish you want to do the same thing but you will see that that made a really nice tight stitch so that would not is not coming loose so everybody uh, something I often hear is that it's hard to sew in a straight line but it's really not with your <laughs> with your sewing machine it just kind of does it itself um, you just use your hands as the guide to guide you along sewing curves that's it guys, it's just that simple to get started with your sewing machine. Let me know what you think or any questions that you have, any questions at all in the comment section below. That's gonna help me create better sewing videos just for you. Thanks for watching, bye. I mean, and now you're a pro.